Joint pains. We all have experienced those at some point in life. When joints hurt routinely and again and again, this may be due to arthritis, which means inflammation or damage to the joint. There are many different types of arthritis. The most common type of all is osteoarthritis, which happens due to wear and tear of the joint. The symptoms start slowly and usually progress with time with joint pain, stiffness, and reduced range of movement, making it difficult to do things that were easily done before. Osteoarthritis is more common in older age, affecting one in 10 people by 60 years old. But the problems and risk factors that lead to osteoarthritis start from a much younger age. So, what causes osteoarthritis? What are its signs? How is it different from other types of arthritis? And what can be done for prevention and treatment? Let's ask Dr. Smart about it. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. M from Smart Clinic. Today, let's talk about osteoarthritis. Dr. M, what is osteoarthritis and what causes it? To understand this, let's first see what's inside our joints. Joints are parts where two bones join and move. The ends of bones are covered with cartilage, which is like a cushion to absorb shocks. It makes the movement smooth and prevents the hard bones from rubbing and damaging each other. Joints are supported by strong ligaments that keep them stable during different positions and movements. There's a jelly-like sac that covers the joint. The fluid in the sac acts like a lubricant to make the movements easy. The muscles are attached to our bones and they control the movement of joints. We have over 200 joints that allow for all sorts of activities we do. In osteoarthritis, there is damage or breakdown inside the joint due to repeated use and stress. The cartilage gets damaged and over time, this padding between the bones is reduced and bones may start rubbing with one another. The edges of the bones start to wear away and can develop small growth. The ligaments can also get affected with the damage and stress. These changes happen slowly and may worsen with time. As a condition progresses, the joints can get stiff and deformed. All these changes can cause pain, especially with movement and use, stiffness, and reduced range of motion. The muscles around the joint also become weak, which puts extra load on the joints, which are already damaged. The weight-bearing joints, such as the knees, hips, and lower back, are commonly affected. Since osteoarthritis often develops due to repeated stress over time, this is why it is common in older age. It's also more common in people who are overweight due to extra stress on the joints. Repetitive stress at work can also lead to osteoarthritis of those joints later in life. Similarly, sports injuries or accidental injuries also increase the risk of developing osteoarthritis later in life. Although osteoarthritis typically manifests in older age, many of the risk factors start at a younger age. It is important to know that while osteoarthritis is caused by wear and tear, healthy exercise is actually needed to maintain strong joints, ligaments, and muscles. Dr. M. What are the symptoms of osteoarthritis and how is it diagnosed? Symptoms of osteoarthritis usually start slowly, affecting one or two joints and may get worse with time. Commonly affected joints are knees, hips, lower back, and hands. The pain gets worse after oh. use at the end of the day. After waking up in the morning, the joints may feel stiff, but it improves in 10 to 30 minutes once you start moving. You may feel crackles or popping sensations on movement. The joint may become a little swollen, but typically it does not get red or warm. Your doctor will ask you these questions and examine the affected joint. Simple x-rays may be needed to assess the damage. Occasionally, the pain in the joint may flare up and get worse. This could be from extra stress, an injury, sudden impact, or at times for no apparent reason. This increased pain may get better with treatment and rest in a few days, and the pain level goes back to the usual amount. Keep in mind that there are other types and causes of arthritis, 
caused by inflammation that require different tests and treatment, such as gout and rheumatoid arthritis. It's important you seek medical help and consult your doctor quickly if you are affected by those. Here are some symptoms that should raise concern and you should consult a doctor sooner. If the joints have redness and swelling, if the stiffness in the morning lasts for a longer time like more than one or two hours, if the joint is very tender to touch, if you have joint pain with fever, if the arthritis develops at young age, or pain that starts after an injury. In these cases, doctors may need additional tests and imaging for diagnosis and treatment. Dr. M, how is osteoarthritis treated? When treating osteoarthritis, our aim is to reduce pain and improve day-to-day -day function. Exercise and physical therapy have an important role to this treatment. Increasing the strength of muscles by exercise reduces the stress on the joint during movement and makes the joint more stable. The right exercise for you depends on how severe your condition is. When joints are very painful and muscles are weak, you may need physical therapy and guided exercises, starting with low intensity and then slowly increasing over time. Physical therapy helps improve the range of motion and muscle strength. It can help you become more active and functional. Routine exercise like walking, stretching, yoga, cycling, and swimming keeps joints functional and active. If you develop new or worse pain after exercise, this means you may have overdone it. Keep your exercise at a tolerable level and slowly increase time and intensity. In people who are overweight, losing weight helps improve joint pain. Even losing a few kilograms of weight can make a big difference. It's also important to have comfortable shoes, and you may use braces to help support weak joints. Use extra support with a walking stick or walker if needed. This can help reduce the stress and avoid falls. Different medicines and therapies can help reduce pain. You can use heat or cooling pads if they help your pain. Another option is to use pain relief anti-inflammatory creams on affected joints. Pain medicines like Tylenol or anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen can help as needed. Consult your doctor if you need these medicines more frequently so they can prescribe you the right medicine and right dose to avoid any side effects. Another way to treat pain is by injecting steroid medicine in the joint. This may improve pain for a few months and can be repeated several times if it is helpful. In severe cases that are not improving with treatments, doctors may suggest joint replacement surgery. The end parts of the bone are removed and replaced with metal parts. After such surgery, patients will need pain medicines and physical therapy to get back to normal activities. Discuss the risk and benefits of these treatment options with your doctor and try to find different modalities if one is not effective. Share this video with others so they can also learn about this common health problem. Let's learn some exercises to strengthen the knee muscles. First, sit with the leg straight Tighten the thigh muscle firmly and press down. Keep it tight for 5 seconds and then relax. Repeat this 10 times. Second, make your thigh tight and then slowly raise it up almost 1 foot high and then come back. Do this 10 times. Next, while sitting on a chair, raise your leg up straight and keep there for 3 seconds. And then slowly go down. Repeat this 10 times. Lastly, lay on your sides and now raise the leg up, sideways about one foot high. Go up and down slowly. Repeat this ten times. As you get strong, increase the number of times you repeat each step. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.